Hello, my name is Virginia Stauffer, and I will be giving you a high-level overview of two studies that we conducted with Galconase Map, one in patients and one in healthy volunteers, to compare self-administration of two different devices, a pre-filled syringe and an auto-injector. So the aim of the study was to compare the usability and patient-related experiences of the auto-injector device with the pre-filled syringe in patients with migraine who self-administered galconazumab. And this was from a one-year safety study of galconazumab in patients with migraine who self-injected once monthly. Patients were initiated with the pre-filled syringe, and then about three-quarters of the way through the study, they were switched to self-inject with the auto-injector. There was a separate um, pharmacokinetic study done in healthy subjects to evaluate the pharmacokinetic parameters of galconazumab in the pre-filled syringe and the auto-injector device. And this study showed that the pharmacokinetics were indeed similar in both devices. So this is a picture of the auto-injector. And as you can see, the auto-injector has um, um, an ergonomic shape grip and there's a dose button at the top. Audible clicks confirm the start and the completion of the dose and the wide base at the bottom eliminates the need to pinch up the skin. So the outcome measures of our assessment for self-administration was the subcutaneous administration assessment questionnaire, which is a 12 item questionnaire, which rates the assessment of usability of the device. And after each self-administration, the patients completed the um, sub subcutaneous administration questionnaire. And in addition, we collected injection site related adverse events um, after the, the first use and then after the first three uses of either device. And the frequency of the adverse events um, were analyzed also by location of the injection. So in looking at the subcutaneous administration assessment questionnaire, I just wanna draw your attention to several of the items that um, show that not only with the pre-filled syringe did we have patients who agreed and strongly agreed with overall ease to, of use, and that the device is stable against skin during injection or the confident and ability to use device, but the patients actually rated these features higher on the auto injector than the pre-filled syringe. So in conclusion, when we looked at the frequencies of injection site related adverse events, um, after the first administration, injection site pain was higher with the auto in injector than the pre-filled syringe, but um, that, that difference did did um, not last over the, the three self-administrations. And so therefore tolerability was similar between the two devices. So patients may prefer to have both options available when they decide to self-administer galconazumab based on their own personal preferences and experiences. 